Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 16. This update is amazing. It's still on beta 3 and of course you cannot expect to have the best performance and battery life even though with beta 3 it got much much better but otherwise feature wise it's amazing. A ton of new features have been added to iOS 16 and there are some really important ones that will make your life way easier that you probably didn't even know about and actually not a lot of people are mentioning it. This update is actually really great and it has a lot of enhancements across the board. Now another thing that could enhance this channel is if you subscribe if you haven't already. Because most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed so please make sure you do so and of course smash the like button on this video that will help the video do much much better. Now let's get right into iOS 16 and let me show you guys here what I'm talking about, what features are on iOS 16 that make this the best update to iOS in years. All right, first of all, we have a really cool new feature that Apple has added to iOS 16, and I'm pretty sure most of you guys don't know about this new feature. You know when your iPhone runs out of battery, and of course it shuts down, you plug it into charge, and you will have to actually wait until it charges to like 5% and then it will boot up. Well, that has changed with iOS 16. With iOS 16, if your iPhone runs out of battery, all you have to do is plug it in and it will boot immediately. So your iPhone doesn't have to actually wait for the battery to be charged to like 5% and then boot up. It will just boot up immediately the second you plug it in to charge. That's really, really nice, especially if you're doing something really important and you run out of battery, you need your iPhone immediately to be booted up. You don't have to actually wait for the battery to charge before you can boot it up. It will just boot up immediately once you plug it in. Here's another great feature Apple has added to iOS 16. Again, enhancing iOS and the current feature that were on iOS before. This is very, very useful. So let's say you have a device on iOS 15. Try to delete one of your contacts. What you will have to do is go to the contact, tap the edit button, scroll all the way down here and find the delete contact button. Well, with iOS 16, you no longer have to do that. All you have to do is on the list of contacts, just 3D touch on the contact you want to delete and you can go ahead and delete the contact directly from here without have, having to go through all those steps. This is very, very useful. I don't know why Apple didn't do this before, but thankfully they have added this to iOS 16. Next, we're moving to the lock screen. Now with lock screen on iOS 16, of course, Apple has made a ton of changes, a brand new lock screen and widgets as well but you don't actually understand the power of these widgets you can see right here i have three different widgets and these are from third party apps not the stock widgets that you get currently with the apple apps so i have this one which shows my twitter followers I have this one of this contact that i can go ahead and just call from here even though my device is on airplane mode right now and then i have this other one right here that lets me open any app i want directly from the lock screen how cool is that so third party app widgets will be really really big on the ios 16's lock screen really like actually devs can do a lot with these of course i can't wait for the public release of ios 16 sometime in september towards the end of september and then we will get all the cool new apps of course and a lot of apps will have these widgets for the lock screen of your device being able to do a lot of different actions and of course get a lot of different informations right there on the lock screen of your iphone now here is another small touch that apple has added to ios 16 that's actually very useful as well if you use apple pay you know that you can use apple pay and of course you can do that with websites if you're browsing on safari well with ios 16 apple allows you to do that even though you might be browsing and shopping on third party apps like third party browsers. So most of the time I actually use Google Chrome instead of Safari. So when Apple Pay is available, I will be actually able to do that to use it even though I might be browsing on another on another browser and not on Safari. This is a really nice touch that has been added to iOS 16 as well. 
Another thing when talking about the wallet and Apple Pay is that now you can actually save the security code on the card info. So right now with this feature, you don't actually need to carry any cards with you at all. If you use it, if you have your cards here, well, what you need to do is just add the security code to the info if you use the wallet app on Apple. And of course, you no longer need to have your card with you. A lot of people just tend to get their cards, of course, with themselves because they will forget the security code. So they need to have them. Of course, if they just don't remember the security code, but now with iOS 16 and this new feature, you simply save the security code on the card info and you're good to go. You no longer need to have your card with you. And we're moving on to focus. Now, Apple has done some improvements on focuses as well with iOS 16. You can now tie them to a lock screen. So when you turn on a different focus mode, you will have a different lock screen. Or when you choose a different lock screen, you will have a different focus mode. But what's really cool and makes your life way easier when you're creating a focus mode for your device is that now you have white lists and black lists. So you have people here and you have apps so when i go to people i can choose to allow notifications or calls or whatever from apps or people or i can choose right here to silence notifications from so you can see you have two different things here if i just want to silence notifications from a few people i can just go ahead and choose them all the other ones will be allowed or I can of course allow notifications from a few people that I choose here but this makes a big difference before you only had this option right here so you would have to actually add a ton of people if you had them let's say you have like 100 contacts on your device you want to silence notifications from just 10 you had to allow all the other people right here now what you can do with iOS 16 simply choose this and just choose the 10 people you don't want to have notifications from and you're good to go you will actually mute the notification from those people the same goes for apps right here silence notifications allow notifications and you can basically choose whether you want a whitelist or blacklist those apps or people that you want to choose this right here is also another feature that has been added to iowa 16 whenever you see a phone number you can simply select it and what you can do is just swipe like this and you can see now you can make a call from here. So you can see it also says customer support. So what it allows you to do is tap here and go straight to the messages app. And of course, can contact the, the support right here. Of course, if you're calling a number of a company, but any phone number, you can simply select and swipe like this. And it allows you to call here from the select menu. A really great thing that Apple has done on iOS 16 is the enhancements that it has done with the spotlight search. Now, when you're searching for something or you perform an action, it will actually be saved right here. So you can quickly go back and do that. So you can see right here, I can turn on apps focus or sleep focus, whichever I want directly from here because I have done that once. You can see right there it's now turned on and now it's actually saved there so i no longer need to search for that so you can see just like that let me turn this off i can do that from there or i can do this from the spotlight search here so from actually the lock screen on the lock screen just involve the spotlight search and just like that i can go ahead and turn on right here you can see the focus mode really really cool you don't have to actually do that from the control center or anywhere you can see what it actually does so it actually creates these like shortcuts right here so whether you're searching for something or you're just performing an action like opening a setting or changing your focus mode all those will be saved here and of course you can swipe like this if you want to hide them but if you want to keep them you will have here you can just go ahead and go back to those actions of those searches or whatever you have done directly from the spotlight search and here is another great feature you can now have notifications be announced through the speaker of your iphone previously you could do that only on your headphones now you can do that through the speaker as well so if you leave your iphone somewhere maybe charging or just laying on the table you're a bit far away from it you just want to know what notifications you're getting all you have to do go to your settings siri and search announce notifications enable it right here if you don't have it enabled and you will be able to actually get these also through the speaker so you can see for any app you can enable these right here time sensitive or all notifications and then if you just go back here and go under accessibility 
and go to Siri right here, you can just go ahead and enable that from here. So you can see I'll announce notifications through the speaker. Please make sure that first you enable them from Siri and search, and then just right here, you enable announce notifications on speaker, which will be of course the speaker of your iPhone. Now, if you go here, we'll have the same settings again. So you can go ahead and choose from which apps you wanna get them or just go ahead and enable right here, whatever you wanna choose. If you wanna get only the time sensitive notifications or all notifications, whichever you prefer. Of course, you don't need notifications from all the apps, but things like messages, for example, or emails or things like that, you can go ahead and enable them from here. Now this right here is another great and much needed feature on iOS. It's a small one, but it actually makes a difference. Whenever you're playing a video on the Photos app or you're just playing a live photo, you know that it has sound and if you have your media volume turned up, it will have, of course, the sound there. But now on iOS 16, if you have the mute switch on, it actually turns off the volume of the video and live photos as well. So of course you don't have to embarrass yourself if you're watching something you don't want everyone to hear. So if I just play this, this is a test video. you can notice once I mute the device, it will also mute the sound of the video. This is how it works. It actually just works with, the, with the mute switch. So when I turn it on or off, it just goes ahead and turns on or off the sound of the video as well. That's really great. So that is it for this video, guys. These are 10 features that I believe make iOS 16 a great update. Of course, we have more like 200 and some new features that have been added to iOS 16, but some of these are really cool and are features that a lot of people don't know about and of course don't know that they have been added to iOS 16. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.